First thing in the morning, I must have four mugs of coffee. Sometimes I can get by with three. Howdy, Paul Russo here. Husband, father, artist. Hey, Paul. Hey, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. You too, my gosh. Check it out, the studio. We are in Charlotte, North Carolina, at the studio of one of Oto Art's favorite artists, Paul Russo. A long time ago, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't ask me why, but my brain kept telling me to just take some crumpled paper and stick it down to something. Oh, wow. And I looked at that and thought, my children are gonna starve to death, and, but, a couple of years went by and I figured out how to make a giant version of one of those. So it really started right there. Who was Paul Rousseau? Well, I like to think of myself. You know, there's many things I could say, but I would say the most, the biggest attribute is definitely resilience. So many artists I know and young artists, old artists, they, they give up eventually because you know it didn't work out or it didn't you know they didn't figure it out or, or, or it didn't it, something always stopped them from continuing and I can tell you I went through all of that and much more and, and and you know I just kept trying and I did have an idea that I had when I was young and and at 30 something I started to run after it and it took 20 years to figure that out so for us to make a composition you know, like uh, that or that or your piece up there. There's a sheet of black underneath it that we form to do the piece to. And so we have to roll the texture on, which will take about 20 minutes to dry, and then we can cut it out and start a piece. I see it everywhere, this, this disposable culture. I don't know, I get a kind of a kick out of when I do candy wrappers and things like that, that is basically, you know, art of garbage. <laughs> You know, and but to me, it's 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 color, it's paint, it's text, it's graphics. I something I can wield, and I see it everywhere. But one day we won't see it anywhere. Is this for the exhibition? Absolutely. Made it just for you. It's just a perfect example of you know the digital world consuming all print. Everything is being replaced. The magazines, the newspapers, uh, it'll all be gone soon. And one day your grandchild will come into this your gallery and say, what is, this? what are those? What is this? You know, they want to know what it is. When they could print a book and everybody, only noblemen and kings got to read stuff and suddenly the masses could be educated, the Renaissance happened, print changed everything. And here we are at the end of print. The most ubiquitous items in the world, bills or cups or newspapers or wrappers and I don't know how long they're gonna be around. But they'll be forever around because of this stuff. That's plastic. It'll last forever. That's <laughs> And this is interesting. Yes, well, this is kind of new. Cups of money. Just seems logical. Stuffing money in a cup. Obviously, that's a little more money than this usually in a cup, but I overdo everything. I first felt like I was an artist when I just was first called an artist. I, I liked the sound of that, so I just kept it up. My first grade teacher proclaimed to the class that I was an artist, and I just kept it right up. As, and by the time I was in second grade, I was the artist. You know, you know they keep me after school to do the bulletin board for Halloween or something. I was the artist. I enjoy Paul Russo's work because it is not just visually stunning, but also very thought-provoking. At Ode to Art, we represent international artists as we want to explore and understand more of different art cultures and share with our audience and collectors who are internationally based. Well, I would like to be remembered as someone who elevated pop art to another level. I would like to be remembered of, I invented something. And you can tell me all day that, oh, well, you didn't invent 
heating up plastic. I said, well, that perhaps is true, but what I'm doing with it, I invented. So I would like to be remembered for that.